you're coming too. From Washington State to now sunny California. We've been at it for five years. It began with selling our previous boat and taking that money to buy tools and build a shed. We assembled keel pieces, poured the ballast, and raised all 16 frames in the first six months. There's a boat in there. Now, half a decade later, and at a slower but steady pace, we're in the water. We're salt and tar, and this is our life. Like, subscribe, and support if you can. We are steps away from raising our main mast. <laughs> oh, look at the little magic you got going on here. Just threw a couple 45s in it. That'll help keep it watertight. Wow. We're making the deck rim for the mast. This will help prevent water from infiltrating the boat. Just gotta trace it out. You did a cardboard thing? No, off it against that. Oh, okay. I'm just doing this straight on up, just gonna build it. <laughs> so I did the plywood, or the pattern, cardboard, whatever. Uh -huh. I'd be tempted to just be like, all right, I got a pattern, so that means I don't have to build it now because I can build it later. So if I, I see. just build it right now, it'll be done. <laughs> Pressed off. Yep. There's a hole, we'll cut that out. Go from there. dog. <laughs> nice idea. Lined up? No, my gap. Look at that. That ought to do. Little screw. And then soup. Are you gonna sand it or anything? Sand like the edges? I think you'd be happy with yourself if you did. Probably. You want me to go get the caulking gun and you can 
Yes, please. Sand the edges or something? Yeah, I'm going to temporarily fasten them. And then while I do that, I can probably hit the edges with the sander. And then we'll goop them and put them back on. Yeah, I think I think that'll look really nice. I mean, you'll never see it because it's under a boot. But... Oh, the whole collar, the deck collar is under the boot? Yeah. Oh. That's the point of it. Well, then maybe it doesn't matter. <laughs> so the mask boot looks like this. It's canvas cloth stretched around the deck rim and weatherproofed. If you go get the, the caulking gun, and there should still be a... Actually, I think I used the rest of the tube, but there's a fresh tube there. You can grab it, okay. too. And what's in the thing, so... Okay. Whatever tubes it. are there. All right. Tell everybody how awesome I am. <laughs> I was going to. Oh! <laughs> and then you had to say something to make it awkward. Her roof is awesome, as she pointed out so humbly. <laughs> <laughs> because I sent her to, to get materials that I left at the mast. And I told her everything except one thing I forgot. And then she left. And I went to call her. My phone was dead. Couldn't find a way to charge it. But she brought back the counter bits, sink bits anyway. So, And you know that it requires my counter sink bits to drill this into the deck. Because <laughs> you're smart. Because I'm smart. Past the blonde hair, which is deceiving. Well. It still gets me sometimes, okay? But we're not talking about that. We're talking about this time right now. <laughs> Can we get you any clamps? Yeah. My hands are clamps, Gib. God, cedar's so soft. Yeah, you've been used to working with some harder woods lately. Well, and also all the fur that we used on this boat is just super dense because it's really tight, most of it, like really tight old growth. This is all the wood we have left over from that we got in Washington that was salvaged from a old school building that was built in the 1940s and it was demolished. And so these are all the rafters and they were mixed. We used a lot of this in our planking too because they were mixed Douglas fir and Western red cedar. And um, so they're both just really nice old tight grain stuff and the cedar, some of it is just insane. Like, it's like the thickness of a hair between the growth rings. Um, but even when it's that dense, it's still just like, you know, soft as a marshmallow. <laughs> <laughs> Whereas the fur, when it's that old and it's that tight, it gets, it's really heavy and it's really dense. It's more like a hardwood. But Western Red Cedar is just very, very soft. But it smells so good. But also, it's extremely rot resistant. Um, and especially being this old, um, that's why I think it's a great wood to use for this and why I'm using it. Yeah, it's just incredibly rot resistant. So. And because is, the boot's gonna be around it, there's probably gonna be a lot of moisture yeah, and stuff. Yeah, there's gonna be a canvas boot, and the canvas will be, um, you know, waterproof and everything, but there's gonna be a canvas boot basically tacked onto it around it. So there's gonna be. Inevitably, there's probably going to be some water that's just kind of like trapped and constantly up against it. So I think it's a really good choice of wood to use for this. Old. Well, at least I got you glove, huh? Yeah. <laughs> no. Oh. <laughs> Just 
took your glove off. <laughs> Now the mast rim is done, the final construction is to make wedges. Wedges are essential for securing the mast as it passes through the deck, as well as trimming the angle, also known as rake. The mast doesn't sit perfectly perpendicular to the water, it's raked aft slightly. <laughs> We got skinny wedges, we got real thin ones like that, we got real thick ones like that because depending on the rake of the mast, it might be a bigger gap for or aft or whatever. So, I have a series of different sizes, so it might not be a bad idea to just cut them right down the middle. <laughs> Garrett checks one last time. All his calculations are correct, or as close as they can be, before we set the date with the office. He's also attached shackles and hung lines, so he can climb the rig after we're vertical to finish rigging. The mast will be temporarily held in place as we sort out the dead eyes and officially cut the shrouds to length. Everything's been souped? And we're ready to step. We just have to kill time through the weekend till the yard comes back. So we pick up an engine project. We're not done cutting holes, I guess. I think this through. weird under here. <laughs> All right. What all do you need? The red things and the plywood thing and the stainless steel things. Plywood thing. Old things. Stainless steel things being the screws? Yeah. Hey, I'm stuck. Forgot the drill. <laughs>
I just want to drill the big hole first and we'll know exactly where it is. I just slapped on a little bit of uh, black Rust-Oleum oil-based paint on the inside of that just to seal everything up. We already had a can open because Ruth was painting some of the mass hardware, so I figured I'd just slap a, a nice coat on. I'm doing some video stuff and Garrett finished the uh, mast hole and now he's going to plug the other hole that he made the other day uh, the where the exhaust for the engine is exiting the transom of the boat. So he's going to have me on the outside and yeah, he wrapped it all up in butyl tape already so I'll just stick it through and he'll be on the inside and tighten down the nut and then at least that hole is plugged. <laughs> Clockwise or clockwise? Clockwise. How much? Uh, more. Yeah, okay, here we go again. Okay. Cool. I'm gonna pull it off. Absolutely loves the dinghy, so he's just making sure we don't go anywhere without him. Yeah, a little crooked. Is that crooked that is? It's hard with all these other lines, and then it's inverted. And well, that's what you, you use the other lines for reference points because these planks are, um, you know, relatively horizontal on the water line. Now it's 
little too much. You think? Yeah. <laughs> you can't see uh, <laughs> I'm trying. I mean, I was holding this open so that you like see, because this is kind of, you know, loose. Because that looked... No, just look at the bottom of this. Yeah. On this line. <laughs> yeah. I think you're talking about like the smidgiest of a it's smidge. It's very clear. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Of course, it's probably hard for all of you guys to see because the GoPro likes to make it all bubbly. That looks pretty good, Garrett. Are you going to be staring at the transom? I think you're being nitpicky. I said it was good, didn't I? <laughs> okay. Gonna give any room? No. Because it's like if you take the dinghy, you have to bring me. Look at that. Excuse me, excuse me, pardon me. We're not going anywhere, Islam. <laughs> Nice. Yeah, I love Beetle Skate. Look at that. <laughs> Clean. Up next, we move the boat closer to the mast. And lift the mast into place. Next week's gonna be exciting. Thanks for watching.